everybody and welcome back to Art of La Carte and another video in our How to Art for a Job 101 series. For those of you who have not seen the previous videos, I'll leave a link to the playlist at the end of this video so you can check them out. Today we're going to talk about something that every professional artist has to ask themselves and that is how do I get people to notice my art is even there? Whether you're wanting to be an artist for a business or a company or you want to sell your own art on an online shop, get commissions, you need people to know that you're out there. And in this day and age, the number one best way to do this is utilizing social media. So personally, I use YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And there are a ton of other social media platforms out there. I'm not gonna go into all of them. If there's a certain platform that you use that I haven't mentioned, share that with us in the comments of this video. There are a lot of ways that you can use these social media platforms to help promote your work and get your work out there. And I wanna give you 10 tips to help you do that. And if you guys have any other helps and tips that you know of that I haven't mentioned in this video, again, the comments is the place to put those. I love reading your guys' comments. So tip number one, use the same name. I talked about this very topic in last week's video where we discussed getting a brand name. And you'll understand why I really think this one is important because it's one that I didn't know about and I did not do. Tip number two is to keep a focus. It's really easy to start a YouTube channel and say, I want to put my art videos on this, but I also want to put my family vacation and this video and that video and kind of make it a conglomeration. If you want to have a professional persona on this social media, I would have that channel or that page represent that. Number three is to be consistent in your posting schedule. That goes for over posting as well as under posting. Depending on which social media platform you're using will determine how many times you can post before you start annoying people. On Instagram, I can easily post two or three posts a day and not annoy anybody. But if I were to post two or three videos on YouTube, that might become a little bit overkill. Definitely would be a lot of work for me. On the flip side, I don't want to go months without posting something on these social media. People are going to forget about who I am. I'm going to begin to lose followers. Tip number four might not apply to every social media platform out there, but it applies to the big ones, and that is utilizing your hashtags. Using your hashtag is a great tool to help people find you, though you want to make sure that the hashtags you're using are ones that actually relate to the content you're posting. Tip number five is to interact in the comments. If you're using a social platform that allows people to comment on your content, reading people's comments and replying to those comments is a great way to let people know that you appreciate them. It is one of my favorite things to do and something I spend hours during my work day doing is reading your guys' comments. I might not be able to reply to every single one of them, but I read about 98% of them. Number six is to make friends on social media, building a community around you. So to use my YouTube channel as an example, I follow other art YouTubers out there. I comment on their videos. I interact with them. When I begin to build friendships with them, we'll do collaboration videos together, fun challenges or contests with each other. The thing you wanna make sure that you're not doing is going around to people's pages and spamming them under the guise of being their friends. So don't just comment on all of their videos and post, you know, like, subscribe to my channel, please visit my channel, sub for sub. Nowadays, that's really considered rude and does not get you the kind of attention that you're seeking. Tip number seven is ask for interaction from your viewers. This is an amazing resource. Asking your viewers their opinions or asking them questions, getting their point of view on things can really help you build that relationship between you and your viewers as like a team. I highly value your guys' comments. It's where you guys are pouring into this your knowledge and experience as well. So don't miss that opportunity as a content creator to really get to know your viewers. But going hand in hand with that is tip number eight, which is don't feed the trolls. There are two types of negative comments out there. There are some that are negative criticisms. Even today, I got a comment from someone saying, you talk too fast and did not explain this video. I didn't like it. I don't mind those kinds of comments because they're seeing faults in what I'm doing. I can look at that. If it's something that I can improve, then I improve on it. If not, I let it go. But they're, they're giving me their honest opinion and that's fine. It's hard to hear sometimes, but it's fine. 
The other kind of comments are those that are negative just to be mean and spiteful. And I won't even waste my time repeating what some of those comments are. Usually they get flagged anyway for language purposes. Our initial reaction is to lash out back at them and to dish out some of the cruelty that they serve to us. All that does is build drama and negativity. And really, I don't got time for that. Tip number nine is to cross promote. So you guys will notice if I post a video on my YouTube channel, I'll generally promote that on other social media. So I'll make a post about that on Instagram or on Twitter. I might have different sets of people watching my Instagram feed than I do on my YouTube channel. So if I show them something that they're interested in, it might pull those viewers onto my YouTube channel and vice versa. The last tip that I have to offer you guys is don't overdo yourself. So like I said, I have four social media platforms that I have. I use my YouTube page as my professional outlet. It contains all of my speed draws, tutorials, anything art related, contests, challenges, art topic related. You're not going to see a video of my last camping trip unless I can find some way to include art in that camping trip. Then you might see that. Well, as on my Instagram post, you're going to see, yes, art pictures, but you're also going to see a little bit more personal pictures because I want my Instagram to be more as if I've invited you to come into my studio and to get to know me. So you're going to see works in progress. That's where I'm going to ask more opinions from people. You'll get to also see random things from my life, like what the weather is like outside or a picture of my chickens. Instagram is the place for people who really want to get to know me as a person as well as an artist. As for Twitter, I don't post a lot of tweets out there, but a lot of my art friends do. So I use my Twitter as a way to connect with other professional artists. Lastly is Facebook, which I don't post hardly anything on, but I use my Facebook because a lot of you guys, it's the only way for you to share your art with me. Those four are enough for me to keep content going. If I added more, I might stretch myself out too thin. It's better to have one or two really good managed social media platforms that you post regularly and well on than having a whole bunch that hardly get anything. So pick the ones that work best for you. I know another one that a lot of artists use is Tumblr, but that's another art based social media platform you might want to check out. If you guys can think of any others, again, post that in the comment section below. Plus, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, the comments are the best part of these videos. If you're brand new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out any future content. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.